All right, you guys, today we're going to be paying attention to this little rascal who just looked up at the counter. Now, when I say little, I mean so tall that his head is going to get cut off in multiple camera angles during this encounter. So he makes his way towards the coolers, and he just spotted what he really wants, but he also wants a delicious beverage. So he's going to take a quick look at the beer. Nope, apparently he doesn't want any beer. He's going to take a quick look at the female beverage cooler. Nope, apparently he doesn't want any smearing off ice. So he's going to make his way over here towards the freezer that he already spotted. Well, hello, this is quite the selection. If I do say so myself, what do we got here? French bread pizza and uh, what's this? Ooh, tuna casserole. I love tuna casserole. I'm going to take that. And what do we got here? Boston Market. No, I don't really like Boston Market. Ooh, Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Yep, definitely take one of those. And what do we got down here? Hmm, country fried pork chop and gravy. It looks good, but a little too big to fit in my jacket. So I think I'm just going to slip this in here. And uh, let's see. Did he uh, see me? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right. Do I want this tuna casserole or do I want want hmm spaghetti and meatballs they both look really good huh you know what uh oh, i hope that camera didn't see me hey uh, hey do you uh have milk here huh you have milk? What? I'm looking for milk. I can't hear you. Well, he didn't hear me. All right. Well, I'm going to put this back because I'm definitely not purchasing it. And what do we got over here? Ooh, ice cream. Maybe I want some ice cream. What were you looking for, sir? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking for milk. Oh, milk? Yeah, come on. Follow me down here. We got a lot of milk. We got a really good milk selection, actually. We got the pints. We got the gallons. We got half gallons. What are you looking for? Uh, whatever this size is. All right. Well, if you look up here, you're going to see our delicious pint selection. Okay. I recommend the Hershey's Chocolate Milkshake. It's definitely the best one we have. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, no need to thank me. We really appreciate your business. Thanks for shopping at Gas Station Encounters, home of the quarter pound of meat with three slices of cheese, fresh made daily sandwich. Now, would you like a quarter pound of meat to go with your milk? Uh, no thank you. Are you sure? What about a salad sandwich or maybe a Reuben? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good on the sandwiches. I just want to know the price of this milk. Do you have the price of this? Because I don't know if I have enough money to buy it. Yeah, hold on. Let me, uh, let me see that. What is that? The, uh, 2%? That's a 2% milk? Oh, yeah, that's definitely not the Hershey's chocolate milk that I recommended, but whatever. All right, let me see what the price of this is for you. Let me just scan it real quick. Uh, looks like it's a $1.89. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you checking that. Oh, not a Unfortunately, problem. Unfortunately, I just realized that I need that weird size. It's like a half of a half gallon, and that's only a pint. So oh. the one I'm looking for, it's like it's like this big? Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's weird. I can't find them anywhere. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So he makes his way outside to his 2012 Crystal Red GMC Acadia with his free... Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. So he's going to quickly dispose of the evidence. <laughs> then he's going to make his way back towards the store after he already gave himself an excuse to leave. Hmm, that's a little weird. Looks like we got a little mind changer on our hands. So he's going to make his way back towards that milk cooler because he's going to settle for a pint instead of a quart, apparently. So he's going to reach in there. He's going to grab that 2% pint of white milk and come up to the counter. Take a dog off the car. You take a dog off you. Without using the Change. Uh, yeah, I just have to ring in the change first. If, if I do the change, I can do the change first, and then then you can run pretty hard. Yeah. Little dog. Little dog. Little dog. So we put a dollar in change towards the milk and now wants to put the last 89 cents on a debit card. So apparently the card he used only had 61 cents because he still owes 28 cents. Want me to cancel it so you can try the other card? Huh? Want me to cancel it so you can try the other card? Debit? Debit? No, were you going to try a, no, a different card? card? Yeah. Okay. You said you had it. I don't know if you can do it. All right. Ooh, 
invalid account slash invalid card type. You know what that means. Declined. So he's going to put the pint of milk back in the cooler and he's going to make his way back up to the counter so that he can wait behind the nice young lady that was waiting behind him while he was using his bogus credit cards that he knew dang well were not going to work because obviously he can't leave without that dollar. <laughs> And just like that, he's going to make his way back outside to his 2012 Crystal Red GMC Acadia so we can hurry home and microwave that delicious Marie Callender's chicken pot pie that he just got for the low price of free 99. She go! If you know this thief, let him know that he needs to turn himself into the local authorities so we can properly have him charged with theft for stealing chicken pot pie.